Okay, so this is a relatively short video just to talk about data viewers. Um, what are data viewers? Well, data viewers are a means for you to um, reference the data going through your system. Um, quite often what you'll find is when you're doing integration service packages, they will fail while you're developing them and you're pulling your hair out trying to work out what the problem is. Quite often where this will come up is when you're doing string manipulation. So, what we're going to show you on this video is just pure and simply how you would actually identify uh, where problems may lurk on the system. Now the example I'm using here you can obtain from the website um, which is being shown on the screen as we speak. Um, on there you will be able to then go to the available post and download. If you're not registered already please do register. There's nothing nasty involved. You just register your name and therefore you will be able to then get um, the latest downloads of these example files and it's not just this one video there's lots of videos with example files Photoshop etc so we're going to go in have a look at this data flow task uh, that's going in there and it is quite a over engineered um, solution this. All it's doing is it's pulling employees data in to the system, um, doing a little bit of tidying up of the data, then it does a lookup, then merges the results, unions the results together, um, at which point it then does a fuzzy lookup. The fuzzy lookup just basically checks for spelling mistakes and makes a prediction on what um, the result would be. And then finally going down to the bottom to then the destination. Anything which is going off to the side is its error trapping and putting it into a different location. So let's give this a whirl and see what happens. So if I just right click over here and choose execute package, this will now whiz through and hopefully, yes, there we go, 39 rows have been brought in from Excel. And if I whiz down to the bottom, 39 rows to the destination. So everything is fantastic. What we really want to do is see um, a particular error. Now I'm not going to fudge this and make it go wrong. What I'm going to do is just simply show you how you would set up data viewers so you can see at certain points of failure. So let's imagine that there's a big red box appearing on the fuzzy lookup. So we know prior to that box everything was working fine. So this transformation is the problem area. But it may not be the transformation itself, it may be the data going into it. So what we need to do is go on to the pipe here and right click and choose data viewers. Now this will then bring up a dialog box where it's not very descriptive what it does but it's very powerful. All we do is we click on the add button and it then brings up a list of choices as to how you want to display the data. So what have we got? Well we've got grid, this is just tra traditionally just seeing the results in a table format so you'll see every single record. Um, histogram, it shows you frequencies of information um, and volumes. Um, scatter plot. Um, I've never personally used this myself, however I'm sure there's a very good use for it if it's mathematical problems you're trying to resolve. And then finally a column chart indicating um, the frequency. Now column charts are quite handy, especially if you're trying to find trends in data. Um, for example, you've been given a large um, list of data and you don't know what you can group by. Um, i.e., for example, location is a good one. We could have a location which is um, London, Madrid, Paris, New York. Those particular areas we may not know in the location field. So using the column chart, it will actually show you the frequency of how often those values are being referenced in your data set. So it's very handy if you're trying to spot trends. Now for this video, we're going to just stick with the basic one, grid. By all means, play around with these to your heart's content. But notice as I click on each one, the tab at the top changes for um, the configuration options. So we're going to choose grid and then I'm going to click on the grid tab. Now what it does immediately is it puts all the fields in as displayed columns. Now if you wanted to you could remove some. For example you know that um, the fuzzy lookups only looking at say two specific fields. Well why show everything when two will do? Um, totally up to you. This uh, magnitude of data, I'm not bothered. 39 rows is not a challenge for integration services. So I'm going to click on OK and click on OK again.
And what you should see now is um, an old Windows 3.1 throwback here, um, a little pair of spectacles on a table. Um, that's the sort of typical icon indicating that you've got a data viewer on it. So here we go. Let's just now execute the package and see what happens. So it whizzes down, but then all of a sudden I should get, bang, this table appearing in front of me, showing me what the values in the pipe are at that point. So I can scroll up and down the list and see what all the data is at this point in time. Now if I'm happy that everything's okay at that point you can then click on to play to continue the actual um, package. Think of it if you're used to doing any sort of VBA or um, VB6 or dot network this is the same as putting in a breakpoint in your code so if we just click on play again what will happen is it will whiz through and complete however it leaves the window on the screen so if you just close that you'll see now that it's actually completed the entire job all the way down to 39 rows so what will be good is let's put another data viewer in so we've got it there we know that the fuzzy lookup has been done so I'm interested to see what the results are after the fuzzy lookup so again right click data viewers I'm gonna add a grid and you'll notice now there are additional columns because that's what the fuzzy lookup is actually put on so we'll just OK that again and OK let's execute one more time now we should have in effect two breakpoints the first one is before so I'm just gonna close that and because I closed it it carried on the actual um, package you can see that the next one's popped up and now I've got these additional columns which I can sort by if necessary um, to see the information so if you're using a good example is fuzzy lookups to try and determine whether a value is worth um, keeping um, we can actually have a look at this let's see if I can scan down and see an example where it's actually worked quite well here we go so we've got the actual department column um, spelt incorrectly it should be accounts but it's been a typo however the fuzzy lookup has identified accounts as being the correct one and it has a similarity of 0.87 so 87% similarity and the computer is a little bit bashful it's not so confident but it's put it at 49 let's say 50% um, confidence so that is the correct value that we want so if you are doing fuzzy lookups this is a particularly good way to then judge what the data is from the spreadsheet versus what you're trying to look up at so you can have a good idea of what the confidence level should be so again if I just close that there we go we're done so to finish this video off let's just have a play around with other ones I think it's very important at this point to explain how do you get rid of data viewers well right click data viewers and just simply delete and OK um, if you deployed this package with data viewers on it won't damage the package whatsoever it will just pretend it's not there this is purely inside bids you do not have this problem when you're running it through integration services on your live server this is purely from a debug standpoint now what I'm going to do then is I'm going to right click on the first data view that we created and let's just add another one and let's say that we want this column chart and visualize column that we want to see well I'm interested in location so let's OK that and OK again right now we have actually got two data viewers on the screen but they're not very clearly shown they're stacked on top of each other but let's just execute this package once more and what do we get? Wow, bang, look at that. We're now seeing the frequency of each particular city, in this case, being referenced in our um, data. So again, this shows us we've got everything as a city um, apart from here. It's got USA. Well, that's because it's a nondescript field called location. It should have been city and region. Um, but it goes to show very clearly how data is um, stored inside integration services and how you can identify trends in your data so if I close that I'm still stuck at that point um, if I just close that again it should now complete the data viewer so there you have it so data viewers allow you to debug your 
um, integration packages by putting what's best known as a breakpoint or a watch on those particular pipes. So very quickly you can identify where problems occur. And as I said at the very beginning of the video, one of the most common areas where you'll have problems in integration services is string manipulation. Quite often it doesn't get it right. For example, it comes in as a text but you are expecting it as a number. Um, so those sort of things can be identified by using these data viewers. So with that done, um, here endeth the lesson. So I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching. Oh,